Hello, Adam Bazalgette here, founder of Scratch Golf Academy, and I want to tell you a little bit about lag shot. Listen, who doesn't love the silky smooth swings of the pros? Ernie Els, Fred Couples, we'd all like to swing like that. Let me show you how this amazing tool that I've been asked to speak about really helps you do it, and do it without a lot of thinking. Well, we just referenced the pros. How do they create all that speed with seemingly so little effort? Well, they're great at transferring energy from themselves and multiplying it out to the clubhead. This is what's going to help you hit the ball further, and this tool is perfectly designed to do it. Let's have a quick look at the pros, look at how they're doing that. We'll get back out here and show you how this works. So Ernie Els in his younger days on the left there, Freddie Couples. Again, we mentioned them. Now, Ernie Els has a lot of wrist cock going back, but if you look at his backswing, he doesn't have nearly as much as he has early in the downswing. Look at the increase in that. And of course, what that does is it creates tremendous stored energy. That's why he hits the ball so far with seemingly so little effort. So let's say we'll put his forearm there, the club head there. Let's go a little further. Okay, club heads give or take their forearm there. So in the time he's moved just that short amount of space with his arms, even less with his body, he has moved the club that far. That's how he is able to multiply all that speed. It's not only the lag, but it's the ability to release it. And of course, Fred Couples, great in his own right. Look at all that stored energy of the golf club there. Then he can slow down and just let it go snap and let all that energy transfer to the club. And you can see it kick all the way up here. That is efficient creation of club bed speed. So what do most golfers do? Well, instead of storing energy as they start down, they try to hit the ball hard. They expend their energy. They over-accelerate the club in their arms. By the way, one of the side effects of that, and a very negative one, is when you force the club down, almost always it's going to cause you to leave too much weight on that back foot. Very hard to shift your weight if you're punching the club down. But this club is different. It's so much more flexible, but not too much. Believe me, you can hit this club, plus it has extra swing weight from a regular club. Now what does that mean? Swing weight is just the weight you feel, the sensation you'd get from it as you swing. Again, not nearly so heavy it's problematic to swing, but a noticeable difference from a regular golf club. And I'm telling you, if you get up here and you force this club with this flex, you're going to, have to struggle to have any success. So it breeds the sense, innately I really think, to let the club load and to start to use the club like a whip, creating energy in it the way the pros do. It isn't that difficult to do and again you do it by feel. Let me show you in the learning center me hitting a standard 7-iron versus the lag shot 7-iron. You'll see how different it looks. Okay, my 7 on on the left, lag shot on the right. Let's go to the top of the backswing, right about there. Pretty much the same position. You can see just a little more bend in the shaft of the lag shot. Here's the difference though. Watch when I'm, say, left arm. Let's go back a frame about parallel to the ground. Same golf swing and look at the difference. Look at how that shaft is loaded. Now, believe me, with the extra weight here in the club head, I can really feel that stored energy like a whip there. I've done nothing consciously different. And what that's going to help me do is not only store energy, but it's going to help me transfer energy. Watch coming down. It's natural with the feel of the club back here that you allow the energy to transfer out to the club and just look how that club is released. Now, I wouldn't release a normal club quite as much as that as you see on the left, but it is a great feel. And actually, when I go back to my normal 7-iron, I tend to hit a few oversized draws to start with, which I like, and then just a few more shots with my 7-iron, it works its way out. Great, great feel. Most people have never experienced that kind of a lag and that kind of release, but you can with this lag shot. Okay, second of our four big benefits that I see with the lag shot helps you with flow and rhythm, which of course is associated with timing. Now, listen, even if you don't have the greatest golf swing, if you have good flow, good rhythm, and therefore pretty good timing, you are going to play better, especially, of course, this helps you on the golf course. Here's what I would do. Again, the key is not do much thinking. That's what makes this thing so great. Tee up three balls. I like to put them on a low tee. Get your mind off contact, makes it a bit easier. And just go without much delay between the three shots at three different rhythms, slower to medium to fairly quickly. That is to say fairly close to full speed. That would be fairly slow for me. That would be almost full speed. 
and that would be about full speed for me. And of course what you'll find is the timing is a little bit more difficult when you have this flex as you pick up speed, but by going up and down the ladder you start to get that feel. Again, you'll make subconscious adjustments naturally. A lot of golfers that leave the face open and slice the ball, which probably as most golfers, will find this will accentuate the feeling of leaving the face open so it helps you get the sense that you need of turning the face a little bit as you come in to square it up. But these are all things you'll feel for yourself. Okay, what's the number three benefit? And that is, we've been referring to it as we go here in this video, less thinking. Listen, your subconscious mind has so much more access to fast twitch muscles and so much more ability to coordinate and time something as complicated as a golf swing, you want to turn the thinking down. So you have awareness, that's what your conscious mind should be doing. All that extra feel you get from the golf club, that breeds awareness, but you're able to just camp out with it and let your subconscious do its magic. Let's have a look at final key. Well, benefit number four, warming up. What's more important than that? Most people don't have an hour. They're not like a tour pro. They get out there and have all sorts of time to stretch and find the right feel. They maybe get 10 minutes on the range. Make it count. Get the lag shot in your hands. Get the feel early in the round. Quiet the mind down. You'll have a lot better experience playing the game. And you can even pull it out of your bag between shots on the golf course if you start to struggle. Make a few practice swings. Get that feel back. This product is a winner. You should have it in your bag.